Hey, I'm Billy Eichner. And I'm Luke McFarlane. And we're about to play Most Likely To with Cosmo. Cosmo. I think because Billy wrote it. Probably me, but Luke's also like his character. I am, totally. Yeah. <laughs> I like sports. Yes. He's athletic. And specifically yeah. hockey. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, he also loves country music. That actually, that whole part of the movie was inspired by Luke actually loving country music and Garth Brooks in real life, um, which is what inspired me to write the song that my character sings to him at the end. Yeah. I would say like, you know, there are both elements of our personalities that are very much like the characters and then ways that we're not like them at all or have evolved past where they are. I think that's so much of what this sort of Judd Apatow universe does is sort of finds the thing in the person and sort of like turns the volume up on it a little bit. Me. Really? I run late. It's not my best quality. But once I'm there, I really give it my all. 110%. Yeah. Me. Luke. Yeah. Well, especially also, like, Billy is known for his sort of rapid fire. Kind I also, of... And I wrote it. So when you wrote it, you're at an advantage with learning yeah. the lines. Yeah. I remember very clearly it was a scene that was not um, in the original script that I read, but it was where um, Aaron uh, makes all these sort of uh, desserts. Mm. And he's describing them, and I remember having a really hard time with that. Yes, yeah. I really did. It's also the scene that I think is the most in your voice. Because you're trying to exactly. impress my character by yes. doing something that I would do. Exactly. Yeah. I think yeah. we're both very romantic I think people. So. I think yeah. that's true. We're actors. We're actors. We're, we're sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dramatic. Yeah. I think, uh, you know, a date that was pretty romantic for me. I, I met somebody sort of, uh, they were living, we were living very far apart and we met in the middle and went on a camping trip together. It was pretty romantic. Sounds like Brokeback Mountain, but he actually yeah. really did do that. I actually, I met a guy on an app and like we really didn't know each other and he was from another country actually and normally I wouldn't have gone to meet him, but we actually ended up hanging out and like I was like showing him around LA. It was very like, uh, it felt like it was out of a movie a little bit. French Connection? <laughs> French Connection, yes. The French <laughs> Lieutenant's woman. No, yes. what's, what's, the, uh, what's the Kevin Klein movie? French Kiss. French oh, Kiss. I thought you were joking. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Crier. I'm a crier too. Yeah. Cry at a rom com. I don't know if I'm crying at a rom com. Tearing up. Being moved. Yeah. Charmed. <laughs> Delighted. <laughs> Delighted. I do cry at movies, but rom coms are usually pretty uplifting. What kind of movie makes you cry? Usually where like a, someone's parent dies. Mm. Charms of Endearment. Mm. All those classics. But I don't cry at like, you've got mail. I'm like, <laughs> she got mail. <laughs> <laughs> That's him, not yeah. me. But I feel like I definitely have in the past, you know. There's a nice thing about being on holiday because it's a, it's neutral ground for everybody. But then you're like stuck with the person you barely know. You can always, you can always <laughs> You can always leave. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. I think I have a lot of experience. I've Luke done is a, better. a lot of Hallmark films, which are essentially <laughs> yeah. a very long flirt session. Luke me yeah yeah Luke's just like not I don't have a lot of he's just not gonna fake it yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean not that you would either no no one walks out on the date yeah. in the middle of it so you have a lot of like dates you know aren't gonna go anywhere but they're not bad I always like meeting mm. a new person you know and getting to sort of see what their life is like yeah Longer than Luke. Luke's like 10 minutes, five minutes, and he's ready to go. Yeah. We're both real big dancers. Everyone's like always really excited to no, see us I mean, dancing. No. You were dancing. I mean, I dance. Yeah. I don't know any songs that are in He doesn't clubs. know pop songs or club songs. songs. Yeah. I love a good Mariah remix, you know, as is pointed out in the movie. Yeah. Oh. Luke. I guess so. Yeah. I, I can't think of anything I have stolen oh, really? from set. Nothing bad. I mean, I usually take wardrobe. Yeah. yeah. I wish I had taken stuff from bros. 
I took a sweater that I wear all the time. Yeah. I took some <laughs> of the um, the boxers that I wear. Oh, yeah? In the sex scene. Oh, nice. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I think you. Me? I don't know who it, I mean, Billy has met everybody yeah. and like worked with everybody. I mean, I think you always get starstruck if it's a star that you really, really look up love. to or that you really love. For me, it's always people I loved as a kid. Yeah. You know, if it's someone who's gotten more famous while I've been an adult, eh, I mean, it might be cool to meet them, but like, it's always the people that were famous when I was a kid. Like when I met Meg Ryan, who mm. did Billy on the Street, like that was surreal because mm. you grew up loving her and now you're with her, you know? Mm. Probably me. I'm most likely to argue in the first place. Yeah. He's also very smart. I feel like I'm pretty good at the like, yeah. yeah. All the camping experience, yeah. you know, that sort of I thing. just panic and wait for someone to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, checking Twitter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Catch Bros in Cinemas now.